So for shape matching, first thing first, you need to know the following that uh, you need the new NVIDIA Amber card or chipset. The older version won't work, so you need the new one. So in case you have the older version like me, you go to Edit, Preferences, Miscellaneous, and in Miscellaneous down in the OpenCL device, you choose CPU. GPU, it's old, so it won't work. So you need the CPU, and then you save and restart. So I have this geometry, the rubber toy. First thing first, we, what we'll do is uh, the following. We need to go to VLAN, VLAN configure, ah. VLAN configure crane. So we connect this one, and in here we create points from volume, and we have new method now, sphere packing. We can overlap it. Here we can play with the maximum radius of the sphere as we wish. Minimum sphere, maximum sphere, the total, total count. And uh, the physical defined pieces will define pieces from connectivity and we transfer the pieces attribute. You can display a sphere, show all points in case it's a large amount of points. By this method, we created mass, we created B, and B scale and velocity. Okay. Next step is we create a VLAN constraint and we connect it. So in the VLAN constraint, is at the VLAN solver. You see, nothing is happening. So in the VLAN constraint. I change it to shape match and first thing we need to do is to change the group type to points and, and um, define pieces from connectivity to from attribute and the attribute we want is this one piece so immediately we will see the constraint between the spheres next what else we need to do let's see the simulation and it's flickering here advanced simulation force let's create a new solver below solver just recreate the VLAN solver again and I think here I need to change it let's see okay I will disable it maximum scale radius particle size overlapping and maximum spheres I need it to fall down now. It's not falling down, so maybe this one will make it higher. Or I can increase the mass. What is the mass? Mass, mass. Point count. Let's change it here. Is it uniform? Let's make it 8. It's the force. Do I have wind? Forces. There is wind. Okay. Gravity. I need to increase it there. I think it's buggy or I'm missing something. So, anyway, after that, we need to have. We will transform pieces. The first two input 
it should be here and the third input here voila <laughs> by pieces constraint group we have it transform geometry points with transform we don't want points on transform transform stands point velocity no point velocity maybe here I need to have pieces so I added here a connectivity sub I call it pieces I have the points the mass piece below and the uh, below transform pieces let's try it on another object let's say torus Let me make it up, visualize it here, a little bit better, what other test geometry we have, mm. Tommy, let's, let's play with Tommy, this Tommy, let's put him up in the air, go here maybe we need connectivity here also yeah particle size Selected, so we have him here. Cool, let's switch. Delete and selected and watch. So if I choose this and this and this, enter, delete and selected, let's watch. I want this to be active. Select this one. Well, we need a volume. This body extrude. Just a tiny point or two. Let's watch now. Nothing. I need to think about it. Okay. Here it's not seen. Point oh one. So I have something to catch up. Now it falls down. So if I remove the delete, so it needs a smaller volume. Let's play now. Ooh. And in the delete, I want to remove him. Yeah. 
enter delete selected let's watch now so that's will transform pieces and uh, will constrain green the new shape matching thank you very much